Today I'm going to tell you a story. It's a story with lots and lots of birds in it and a scarecrow. But the scarecrow couldn't scare away the birds and they were very, very hungry. Let's listen to the story. But first, I want you to use your ears. Where are your ears? That's right. Now listen, listen carefully and see what you can hear. That's right, you could hear some birds in my garden. I bet you've got birds in your garden as well. Farmer Wallace had been very busy making this year's scarecrow. At last he had found a use for his wedding day suit that no longer fitted him. And an old pair of brown boots with holes in the toes that he'd had for years and years. And some bright green gardening gloves that he'd never liked. Where do we wear our gloves? On our feet or on our hands? Can you tell me? That's right, on our hands. Mrs Wallace had already donated one of her sun hats that had been chewed by the dog. The farmer felt sure the scarecrow would do a good job as he planted the pole deep into the newly ploughed field. As spring arrived, the scarecrow tried its hardest to keep the birds away from the newly planted seed. But they took no notice and they ate and ate until they were full. Several weeks later, the scarecrow tried to frighten the rabbits too. But they weren't frightened at all. They greedily ate all the tender growing shoots. As summer arrived, the scarecrow tried to scare the mice from the ripening corn. But they weren't scared either. And they scampered up the tall golden stalks and nibbled endlessly. When the farmer returned in late summer to harvest his field, he could scarcely believe his eyes. All that remained were a few clumps of wheat, hardly worth harvesting at all. He was so angry that he pulled the scarecrow up from the ground and threw it in the hedge nearby. And there it lay, sad and alone, all autumn. Can you show me your sad faces? You ready? Sad. Now show me your happy face. Smile. That's brilliant. Well done. The winter that followed was very cold indeed. The ground was frozen hard. Icicles hung from the branches and the frost covered the hedge for days. The wind blew wildly and the air became colder and colder. One by one, the woodland creatures came out of hiding and searched for the warmth. They sat shivering beneath the scarecrow, who was so pleased to see them, he'd been very lonely. It soon forgot how troublesome they'd been and invited them to cuddle up for warmth in its straw. The birds nestled suddenly, snugly in the scarecrow's hat and the rabbits climbed into each cosy pocket. The mice made themselves comfortable in the old brown boots. All of them were pleased to be out of the cold. As spring arrived, the farmer returned to plant new seeds and decided to give the scarecrow one more chance as he'd been too busy to make a new one. In return to the scarecrow's kindness, the birds ate not one newly planted seed and the rabbits left the green shoots to grow. And the mice didn't climb up the golden stalks in search of the corn. As late summer arrived, 
the farmer rewarded was rewarded with a bumper harvest, the best it had ever had. The farmer smiled proudly at the scarecrow. The scarecrow smiled back and was secretly looking forward to winter when the woodland creatures would return again to keep him company. And that's the story of the scarecrow who didn't scare. Bye. See you soon.